Alongside our new flagship power supply Dark Power Pro 12, we started a media campaign showing a fully custom high-end system equipped with our new PSU. We will now tell you more about the video, the custom build and what makes it so special. And for this, I have none other than the creator of this awesome piece of hardware with me. Hello, hello and bonjour, Mike from MP Customized. Hi. Hi, my name is Mike. Peter Reins from Belgium, also known as MP Customized. Uh, people know me for my uh, case mods, but also lately I'm into the scratch build and designing my own cases. Like I did now for Be Quiet, I made this crazy concept case for their new power supply. I really like the luxury team because uh, it's one of my favorite uh, colors, it's gold and black. Bling Bling is my signature, everybody knows, with my shades. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I really liked uh, the team, the gold and uh, black color. As for hardware, I choose uh, Intel and Nvidia. This build has the 9900K inside in the Asus motherboard, the ROG. Also uh, 2070 RTX Super also by ASUS. It has the Royal Golden Trident Z RGB memory, 32 gigs. Uh, and of course, the nice looking power supply of Be Quiet with the OC switch. So uh, all the details of the concept case uh, I really like was the, uh, the RGB in the case integrated. Also the golden GPU water cool block, it's really gold plated. Also all the golden fittings, golden water block, golden motherboard and of course the golden G-Scale Trident Z Royal memory. So it all fits the team very well and I think it's a powerful system. So like most people of you know, I make crazy concept cases or crazy case mods. So I prefer the very out of the box thinking, luxury, hardcore gaming systems, bigger, better, um, water cooled, very uh, high, uh, high end hardware. So that's really my kind of style that I prefer for a case instead of the standard regular case you can buy everywhere so that's why I started to build them myself. <laughs> the design is, is uh, quite complex because uh, it needed to fit radiators inside but also show the power supply in the front so I had to kind of brainstorm where to put everything so the the really big challenge was to have something very creative but also everything working like it should be and showing the power supply as the primary component of the build. So that was really challenging. So yeah, I designed it first in 3D. Uh, first I, I make a very light sketch in SketchUp, very quick to have the measurements right and all that stuff. Then I uh, make a real 3D design in Fusion 360 that uh, I can upload the files to the machinery to uh, produce the metalwork. For machinery, I uh, have a, a second company I co-op with and they use uh, laser cutters. Uh, bending machines, uh, welding, tick welding, uh, 3D printers, um, CNC milling machines, all the machines you need to make crazy concept cases like that. I also have a laser cutter at home, a big one, where I can make the details of the concept cases. So in this case it was like really challenging to um, mount the PSU on the case without having visual mounting points. You can work with brackets and all that stuff, but you, you will definitely see them and they will uh, be in the way of the other nice shiny hardware. So I really had to work from inside out the case to be able to connect everything to the outside. So it was really challenging to uh, install the water cooling components and the, the video cards and, and uh, the, the radiator and all that stuff. Uh, inside of this 
center console. So uh, yeah, that was kind of a challenging uh, to do. So the moment I uh, received the power supply, I immediately saw there was like this feature on the power supply. It comes with a bracket. So I thought yeah, it would be fun to integrate it into the case. And that's like this orange OC switch. You can turn on and off. The new Dark Power Pro 12 power supply uh, has this crazy uh, luxury um, feeling. It's like brushed aluminum with uh, the sharp edges. I really like the, the German engineering inside of the power supply. It's really high class power supply. So yeah, like for cable management, it was uh, not really uh, easy because I wanted to show off the cables too, but also not too much. So I really uh, kind of hide the cables behind the, the, the power supply and also behind this uh, arm here. So I can fix them on the inside so you won't be able to see them very well, but still be visible. No, I never uh, used a powerful power supply like this, like 1500 watts. But obviously it's uh, made for overclocking too, so uh, you need the power and uh, the stability of the good power supply. So I think Be Quiet did a good job there. So the position of the motherboard is in the top and the graphics card is below that. I did it in this position because it's uh, easy to uh, connect the tubings like this and also the air goes up and then needed to come out in the top for easier uh, bleeding of the air of the loop. But also to be able to uh, access the I.O. shield on the back of the motherboard on the top, to have your connectors in the top, it's easier than have them on the left side or on the right side because we are restricted here with the space and uh, the detailing of the case. Uh, but you can, if you want, turn the motherboard to the left side, but then you have to change the graphics cards to the right side too. That should work too but that's, that's going to be harder for the air to go out of the system. So the orientation of the component is uh, also convenient for uh, cable management of the power supply. So the cables can go like this here to the 24 pin and the 8 pin there and directly underneath the two 8 pins for the GPU. So we don't have any cables going to there or to there, to the bottom, to the top, to the right. It's, it's messy that, like that, so now it's all in one direction. So for all your setup uh, lovers out there with the big desks and the multiple screen setups, I really like the desks with the gaming chair and the triple screen setups, and, but you need a lot of space there. And if you, have, if you haven't have that much of space on your desk, you, you can still hang the concept case on the wall. So you can save some space for your big mouse mats and have a lot of space to, to game hardcore style. So um, after a couple of days here at the headquarters and be quiet, it was a very nice experience. Uh, I would call it a very professional uh, company and it was really nice to uh, have a tour here. And uh, it was an honor to be invited by Be Quiet and make this unique experience with them. And, Looking forward to another one. We are always amazed by what innovative builders such as Mike can do when they create beauties like this. Therefore, we cooperate with fantastic modders like him all around the world. I hope you liked these insights and maybe found some inspirations for your next build. Please share it if you like. Until then, stay quiet. quiet.